the environment of the race, if you're not rented before, is it can be a, can be a bit of a shock to the system and can put you off your plan. Um, the start will be really busy. Uh, there'll be lots of people around, um, and you might not be able to do exactly what you thought you were going to do at the beginning but don't let that put you off the second thing is 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 don't try and go too fast get yourself into your plan into your pace ideally have a plan and stick to that plan um, if you feel you've got more in your legs at the end of the race brilliant then speed up at that point but but don't go too fast too too quickly well ideally you don't really want to change anything in the last few weeks before the race you may suddenly be reading stuff about and thinking oh my word am i running in the right way you don't want to change anything in the run-up to it you've you've trained in that way you don't want to change your shoes they might give you blisters they might change the way in which your limbs are loaded so don't change anything don't change any clothes don't change your shoes don't change your prep I think the key thing in the first 5k is to really just take it fairly steady and just try to uh, you know stick with the crowd and just stick with your normal pace and just be careful not to overdo it. Uh, as tiredness kind of kicks in it then becomes a little bit tougher. Uh, one of the great tricks from uh, Paula Ratliff is uh, counting to 100 so it's really a great distraction when you start getting upset when you feel really like you can't finish this. Just try to give your brain a different task and actually counting I tend to do it to 10 or 20 but it's a great trick to actually really just uh, switch off and think of something else. So it's, it's as much as a, of a mental battle as well as a you know, physical one, really. And just you know, having that kind of toughness and determination to get the finish line really will make quite a big difference. Well, one of the main factors um, that causes us to fatigue in, in prolonged events like this is um, a depletion of our, our carbohydrate stores in the body. Some people think you need to really go heavy on the carbs in the days leading up to a, a half marathon, but actually it probably doesn't make too much difference because it's not a really long race like a marathon so with a half marathon you do want to eat some carbohydrates on the day before the event in your evening meal so something like pizza or pasta or rice um, and then in the morning of the event you also want to top up your your carbohydrate stores with a, a small and easily digestible breakfast such as cereal or porridge or toast or something similar